Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bhagirwal. Welcome to Salesforce CPQ series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add configuration attribute to a bundle product. So let's get started. So uh, first, I'm going to create a field, a pick list field, which does have different attribute values on product option. So I'm going to create a new field of pick list type. Let's say I am giving it the name as accent and values I'm giving it as feathered solid click next I'm keeping it as visible for all profiles and I'm adding it on the product option layout click save now second step would be go to the configuration attribute object go to the fields go to the target field and let me open that uh, field again and in the values you need to add the api name of that attribute field which you have created on product option so i'm just gonna go back to product option under the fields i have created accent field i will copy the api name and on the target field on configuration attribute i'm gonna give this api name and i'm selecting both record types of configuration attribute object configuration attribute and global attribute these two are the record types or maybe we are just uh, config we are just adding configuration attribute so you can keep it only for configuration attribute record type now that's uh, uh, one thing one step also we have completed now uh, go to the product on which you want to add that configuration attribute so this is a product i have it's a bundle product you can see there are uh, some options there five options are there and two features are there okay now uh, i'm gonna add that configuration so you need to go to the configuration attributes related list click new and select the configuration attribute click next I am giving the same name as accent that is not required just uh, um, in order to keep the value uh, keep the information in sync that's why I'm giving the same name as accent target field I'm selecting which we have created and added in this pick list accent and uh, required you can add it or not add it that's up to you row order uh, that is basically in which row it is coming if there are multiple attributes available and similar for column order and uh, that's it click save once that is done let's uh, just check few things okay nothing go back now what you have to do is you can uh, you can keep it same as on this bundle product means parent product or you can put it inside the specific features that we will see later first first let's see in action how it's gonna look on your quote line this is a quote i have i'm going to a quote lines i'm adding this smartwatch product here now as you can see on the top of this product there is a field which came as accent whether it is faded or solid you can you can give this configuration to this bundle product and if you want to that uh, as i was mentioning that you can put this inside a feature itself so go to the feature let's say i want to put it inside watchman's feature or go uh, not from feature go back to your configuration attribute click edit and here there is a field for feature 
so i'm gonna select watch bands over here and click save now just to refresh your code lines add that project product again because i have not saved it now as you can see that has been removed from here and came inside the watch pants feature okay so that is how you can configure or you can add configuration attributes in cpq for a specific bundle products or specific features under them okay now there is one thing you need to remember that configuration attribute works for a single product on which you have defined this feature because we have defined this attribute on this product so it's going to work for this product itself it's not going to work for any other products in cpu so in order to uh, use the same attribute for different products and different features under those products where there is a concept of global attribute which i'm going to cover in the next video if you like this video please like it and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as abhishek bagherwal thank you